you, Miss Heather. She said she could sprint. But Jesus forgives her, so so can I. One-on-one -on -one game between Patrick. What up, you Center? It's Mr. Carl. Why would you do this? I do not want. Welcome you Center Online. We are glad to have you back this week. This week we are featuring Episode 6. Episode 6. It's so crazy that we're already on our 6th episode. We're gaining momentum. We're getting into a routine. Figuring out what you guys like for us to do. Make sure you keep commenting to let us know what you guys want to see in the future. But on today, we have some challenges that we want to bring to the table as the ladies because they Yay. act like we don't like camera time too. That we don't like challenges that people don't want to see us. But we're coming after them, and we're gonna make them some challenges today. So, Mr. Juan and Mr. Nate, you got Mr. Miss Heather and Miss Maya mm -hmm. on the station today. I've been grinding all day, all day. And, all night. and all night. So, um, and also make sure for those of you guys who want to do challenges and who haven't been participating in the challenges to watch these videos to know what prizes you can win because we have been dropping off prizes for people to enjoy. Mm -hmm. What else do we have going on today, Ms. Uh, Heather? Following that, we have a Fat Kid Taste Test uh, featuring Mr. Ron. So stay tuned and continue to watch. Check it out. Hey everyone, all right, so this is our first game of today. Mr. Nate and Mr. Juan chose for us to do math flashcards, multiplication tables, because they just feel themselves in this area. But you know, Miss Heather and I are gonna do our best job, so I hope you're cheering for us through the camera, okay? All right, let's go. All right, three, two, one, go. 36, 55, four, uh, three. Why are these different directions? 36. 32. 21. 8. 81. 54. 40. 60? Is it 60? No. Wait, no, no it's no. wrong, Heather. Bruh. It's not 60. 48, 35, uh, oh crap, okay, 4, uh, is it 48? Nope. 48? No. Wait, wait. 7 times 10 is 70. 18, 66. Dang, hey, Heather. Okay, Maya, your combined total time, 3, 12, oh, 2. Shit. Girl. Hit 5, girl. We did it, right. though. Mine and Nate's time. Mine and Nate's turn. Why are these different directions? And three, and two, and one, go! 18, uh, 18, 24, 66, 18, 8, 77, 80, 49, 44, uh, 56, 33, Dang, 24, genius. 50, 24, 28, uh, 45, 16, 9, 14, 12, Can't keep up. 42, what the heck? 21, what? 6, 10, and 20. Show me that time. I know. First, uh, okay, okay, 27, 88, uh, 54, 12, 20, 18, 9, 
24, uh, 24, 66, 4, 40, uh, 121, uh, 48, 16, 30, 18, 33, 15, 20, uh, 32, 10, uh, 8, 16, 56, 30, uh, 72, 96, 40, uh, 54, 81, 8, uh, 21, 32, 20, uh, 36, uh, 55, 36, 30, uh, 3. Time. Can we get a big fat? Uh, Let's go. Let me see the phone. Show me the phone, Miss Show me the camera. Show me Show the, camera. the phone. Let's go. Oh. Tell me the number. Let's go. Oh, oh math. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> I know, too long. <laughs> Why are you throwing my cheeseburger like that, bro? Ew, that's gross. Mm. Oh, it was a... I didn't laugh. The ankle thing is going to be hilarious. All right, everyone. So now we are up here for challenge two in the gym with Miss Heather and I on this side and Mr. Nate and one on this side. We are about to do a relay. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the comedy of this, but it's really going down. It's bad. Bye. Four, three, Where's the other taker music when you need it? 
This is why you do flashcards. Flashcards, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> oh. That is good for you. Woo. Well, I haven't done that since I was in high school. All right, y'all. We are playing what we call cornhole or bags. Essentially, me and Nate are on one team. Miss Heather and Maya are on another team. And the point of the game is to get these bags in the holes or on the board there. The scoring is a little complicated, so we'll keep score for you. But the point of the game is to get many in or on. Let's do it. Miss Heather, go first. And we'll take turns. Take turns. Four to one right now. Okay. One. Do you have any more? So I got three plus two in. That's five minus your two. One. She had two. She had two in. One in So we're plus three. Three to zero right now. One. Okay. Come on, Mike. Oh, this is so good. One to one. Pitch out. Get it on. Don't miss. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh! Hey everyone, welcome to a new segment. This is called Mr. Wan's Fat Kid Taste Test. You know how Mr. Wan always talks about how he knows food? And he's always flaming me for not knowing food. Well, today, we're going to find out. I went to, that is my ear, I went to three different fast food restaurants and got three different items that are similar in each restaurant. Let's go! Come on! While blindfolded, Mr. Juan is going to eat these items and see if he can guess them, the type of item it is, and where it's from. And it's the ultimate test to see if he is the true fat kid for life. What do you think? Let's go. You already know what it is. He already knows. I'm going to be able to smell it, though. All right, Mr. Ron, this is your first food item. you got to tell us what it is and where it's from. McDonald's french fries. Don't got to taste it. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, they are. Maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of weird what things taste like when you can't see it. Walk us through. What do you think? What are you thinking? Oh no, honestly. They're real salty. You definitely got these these fries from a hood restaurant because they salt it appropriately. I'm pretty sure these are McDonald's French fries. So McDonald's French fries are gonna be your guess? I don't know, man. Things taste so different when you can't see them. It's the first food. It's just so weird. It's the first food and Mr. Juan is already shaky. Let's, let's just be clear. You can't taste anything. All right, Mr. Juan, here is your second food item. What are they and where are they from? Bruh, these are cold, first of all. Mm. These smell dirty. <laughs> they smell dirty? <laughs> I don't know how to handle that. Nah, fam. Those are not McDonald's french fries. These are McDonald's french fries. Okay. So I think. I don't know, dude. I can't, I can't really taste it. Alright, hold on. This is my first one. Let me just okay. Yeah, dude. You gotta, you, gotta start, you gotta start guessing here. Let me taste them all before I guess. I don't know. Those are similar fries. What the heck? I don't think I have them. Alright. Here's the next one of the category. Oh, soggy fries. These are Wendy fries, dude. Burger King fries. Blah, blah, blah. 
barf. Okay, that is disgusting on the thing. All right, well you got you got it. Okay, so so you you think these are Burger King? I think the last are, ones were Burger King. I think those are Burger King fries. So you got to tell me what the first ones were and the second ones. Oh, that's it. These first two were very similar. Are these the first two? Yes. This the one on your left hand is the first one. First one. What is this, dude? Are they from the same spot? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Bro, and the second one's over here. You you do not get it. Cause they're similar. Look at these chips. The same chip. It's a fry. Same chip. Unless you're in the UK, then. It's the same. <laughs> right. Look at this. These are the same size. Uh, how am I supposed to know? I think it's a trick. I think they're both from the same spot. What spot is that? Dude, McDonald's fries. Okay. Am I right? You know I'm right. Mr. Juan, you can open your blind. Oh, Ms. And it poked does, me in the does eyeball. looking at them now make a difference? These are darker for sure. These are McDonald's fries. These are not. That is correct. These are McDonald's fries. I was right the first time. Dang it. I don't know if I've had these fries. I'm going to guess Wendy's. These are from Wendy's. Yeah. These are Wendy's fries. I was right the very first time, but whatever. So that was our first round that took Mr. Wong forever to figure out which fries are what fries. And what he couldn't even do a blindfold. He had to take a blindfold off. No, I was right though. Y'all saw him the little camera. We're gonna put the blindfold back on. Oh, these are young. And we're gonna do round two. All right, welcome back on round two. I'm on this side of Mr. Juan now. Uh, we're gonna do our second round after the the French fry debacle of 2020 um, to see if he can guess what kind of food it is and where it's from. But he's already got a little bit of an advantage now because he knows what three restaurants I had went to. So we're gonna see. Uh, go ahead and bring out the first first of the of the. Uh, Food. It's called food. Okay. Ready? Oh, I get the wrapper too, though? Yeah, that wasn't my decision. I think he's gonna know more based off the wrapper than. <laughs> okay, right now we got the first couple things. The wrapper's a little thin, so I think I know where it's from. But This bun. This man. Oh, see, I already know what this is. You see this right here? This is a junior bacon cheeseburger from Wendy's restaurant. Uh, maybe, what? Well, is there bacon? I don't know if there's bacon or not. It's a cheeseburger from Wendy's. No bacon, I don't think. I'll taste it. No, it's not. Oh, it's chicken salad from Wendy's. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. This is good. Wendy's, for sure. For sure, let me eat that though. Don't touch that. All right, we'll set that aside. Here's the next sandwich coming at you live. Is there any trickery to any of this? Are you tricking me, bro? Uh, not yet. Oh, it's wet. This is such an adventure. Ooh. This is gross, and this bun is from Burger King, and I'm not a fan. Burger King. But, next sandwich. But what was it? Chicken sandwich. Of some sort. Obviously, the theme is chicken sandwiches from different restaurants. Well, obviously, you said burger the first time you. Well, because I was feeling it, it felt like a junior bacon cheeseburger and lettuce stuff. But all right, last one. First of all, first of all, somebody took Thor's hammer to this sandwich, so obviously it's from McDonald's with chicken. He got a thunder. Let's go. Did I bite this one already? He, he already bit this. One. I already bit this one. How many burgers did I? I only bit this. You one. You only have one burger. Yeah, this is the Burger King. One. And it's good because of the charbroil. Mm. Yeah. That's true. I like this. The charbroil with the little mm. mayonnaise and the ketchup. Boy, this sandwich is good. It's cold and I would eat it straight out the refrigerator if I had to. Very good burger from Burger King. Okay, this, this next burger, I have not tried yet. But I already know what I think it is. Mm. Okay. Alright, there's a little something y'all need to know about McDonald's. McDonald's cheeseburgers. Their buns, um, they kind of feel like plastic on the outside sometimes when they've just been sitting there. Uh, and so this is for sure from McDonald's. I can feel that. I really started to kind of interject here just watching it because I can see it. Yeah, dude! Like, like, the Thor comment I thought was funny. Look at Captain America's shield right until, here, dude. I think you pulled out a second sandwich from the same McDonald's that was smashed. Smash! Like, <laughs> Smash! Look at this thing! And let me guess, I bet by holding this, this is not a single, this is a double, and it's the same size as a single because they be mashing it down. Can somebody away. from McDonald's tell us why, like, the strategy is to flatten this sandwich? Why y'all be messing with the sandwiches? 
Okay? Just make the sandwich nice. Just be gentle. Like, when you make a cheeseburger, you put the bun, like, mm, here's the bun. Yeah, I mean, the Burger King one is nice and plump, and like, yeah, it's, it's cold. It's, it's ready to. But it's plump. I really want to eat it, even though you're. But let me tell you something. This double it. cheeseburger, you can give me this plastic smashed up smashed cheeseburger any day, and I'll eat a McDouble. See this right here? This is a square edge, okay? That means it's from Wendy's, okay? This is a Wendy's bird, okay? It's got ketchup, plus, uh, no mustard. It's got tomato, uh, it might have a tomato on it. Hold on a got a tomato on it. It's just like a junior cheeseburger, don't think. You can't pick the vegetables off, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a junior cheeseburger. You see that? That square burger, the, the bun is hard. Uh, the ketchup, the mayonnaise, the lettuce, the tomato. It's definitely Wendy's, um, and I think it's a junior cheeseburger. No, oh, it's all over my face now. I love junior cheeseburgers. Super so I'm gonna let y'all be the judge if you should get bonus points or not because it is a junior cheeseburger from Wendy's. However, it's actually called on the menu a junior cheeseburger deluxe. Oh yeah, the deluxe with because the tomato and the lettuce. The tomato and oh, the tomato. Come on, I'm done. My bad. My bad, so, Wendy's. Yeah, let them know. Wendy, if you're free tomorrow night, let me take you out for dinner. All right. So at this time, I'm gonna have Mr. Wine. Wait. It's not how that. She's not a real person. Shut up, bro. All right. Let me have my moment with Wendy. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'm going to let Mr. Juan open up his blindfold oh, and see the Lord. mess that he made of all these Ow! sandwiches. Okay. Back to the thing. We're going to cut it here. Let this man eat his food in peace. All right, so. I did a bad job with this. Like, that was good. Like, I would not have been able to guess. How? Like, he knew, like, the... The, the, the size of the uh, burger. Like, what? What up, Youth Center? It's Mr. Carl. Middle of a run. Very out of shape. Need a haircut. Kind of cold. But I'm out here. It feels good to move. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm coming up on this hill that I've been running a lot recently. And it's really steep. And I have a question for you all. If someone came to you, there's this massive hill and they said, hey, we have a race up to the top of the hill. And at that top, at the top of that hill is $5 million. And the first one up there gets it. Let me ask you, if you're going up that hill, are you just kind of wandering back and forth? Are you just going slow, walking? You're not taking the shortest path from A to B. You're just kind of wandering around the road, hoping you get to the top first. No, obviously not, right? You go straight from the bottom to the top as fast as you can. Oftentimes though, I feel like with heaven, the greatest prize, we kind of wander around, right? The Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians says, when I run a race, I run to win. Right? I'm not wandering about aimlessly. I run to win. Y'all, heaven is the greatest prize and you gotta run to win. Right? Stop wandering around the road. How do we do that? It's pretty easy. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Step two, love the Lord your God. Step three, love your neighbor as yourself. That's it, y'all. I want the prize at the top of the hill. I hope you do too. Next episode, Mr. Carl gets a haircut because he needs it. I miss you all and I love you all. I'll see you at the top of the hill. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. As you can see, the contest went favorably for me and Mr. Juan. Ms. Heather, Ms. Maya, what do you guys make of those competitions? They're speechless. There you go. There you have no, it. No, I mean, it is what it is. I would have to say, though, the multiplication... Um, no. <laughs> what about the multiplication card? Well, you guys have a good. <laughs> I think they, they were they back had from that. A, I think they had a good advantage before we started. Exactly. Right. They had a good advantage. Right. How do we have We advantage? went first, right? And so they seen the flashcard when we completed it. And so the second <laughs> round was they also seen it. So I think if they would have left the room.
We just know our math better, and that's okay. Right. It's okay, though. Because there was two other games that we also won, so... <laughs> All I gotta say is, I didn't die like they did. They were on the floor for like 10 minutes, and I'm just proud of myself, because that means I Sometimes have been getting... Sometimes winners need a break. Like... Okay. Yeah. Just, just didn't work hard enough to deserve a break. No, I did. I was on the floor too, but you know, I recovered faster. That means I've been working out. You probably did recover faster. That is genuine. I was on that mat for a minute. Maybe like do a challenge at home with someone in your house. Ooh. Pick a challenge that you want to do, a game that you can beat them at, yeah. or something that you know you can beat your siblings at, your mom at, your dad at, your cousin at, and send us in. If you lose, you can still send it in, but yeah. uh. I'm about it. You know? I'm about it. Take it. Take any They might video. blame you for it, but we have grace on this side. Take any type of video of you <laughs> and a family member doing any kind of game. Could be chess. Could be how many like Uno, jumping jacks, cards, whatever. Send that in, and we'll pick somebody to give a prize to. Just as an example, we want to give a shout out to Miss Ariana who <laughs> won the quarantine snacks challenge, and she is elected to get Popeyes chicken sandwich, Let's right? Go, chicken sandwich. Bye -bye. So are we got some sort of chicken. From Popeyes, so and we're going to go fries. ahead and deliver that to her at some point early next week. So we are following up on these challenges, so y'all are like, mm, they don't do anything for me. Do the challenges, and then we'll do something for you if you win. So there we go. Any last thoughts? Make sure you send it to one of us, or you can post it in your group chats with us, or post it on social media and tag us, but make sure we are the ones that see it. Okay. And there yeah, will be us. a rematch between us, because we, we have to are ourselves. the champions, so, yeah. my friend. Well, that's all for episode six. <laughs> we will see you next week. Yep. Bye. Okay, right. that's it.